Hi everyone, Josie here, Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here on my channel where you'll find projects that are mostly affordable, practical, and easy to make. Today I have a couple of Dollar Tree DIYs for you all and I am going to be making two types of organizers. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell icon so that you will get notified every time I upload a new video. My apologies, I have a bit of a sniffle, so that's why I sound this way. But anyway, it shouldn't stop us from making this project together. So all the materials for my projects will be in the description box below. First, you will need two stainless steel paper towel holders and these two gold wire baskets. You got this online at Dollar Tree, so you will need two of these. Then I will also be using two stainless steel Dollar Tree napkin holders and I also will be using a sharp scissors. You can also use a wire cutter to cut my favorite zip ties which we will use to connect this. And of course my handy dandy glue gun and some glue sticks to reinforce the connections. So let's get started. First align the two paper towel holders. Make sure they are facing in the same direction like so. Next I will be placing one of the wire baskets. So this is going to be two tier one at the bottom and then one at the top and then I am going to be adding zip ties so zip ties is my favorite go-to tool or material for putting things together because it is so durable so what I do with the zip ties I often double it up and when I tie it I try to do it at a diagonal like this I think it's easier for me to just show you rather than to explain how it works. So as you could see it is doubled up. I wound it a couple of times before I zipped it up. So it's still a little loose because I'm not quite done yet. Later on I will tighten them all. So I will be putting two zip ties, one on each side of the paper towel holder. And then I'll be repeating the same steps on the opposite side. Next, I am going to be placing my top basket. So since I want to have enough clearance, I want to put it really close to the very top. So here's what I've discovered creating a lot of my organizers. I tie the zip ties loosely first for the top basket and let it kind of slide down so that I don't have any issues with holding it up. So once I've done all the four ties, then I will slide it up again and then tighten it. And then voila, we're almost there. Now I am going to be tightening up all the zip ties and then I will be trimming them. Now you can stop here if you want to, but I've decided to make use of the space. So I'm adding these two stainless steel napkin holders. I'm tying the zip ties onto this portion here. And as you notice, I'm not doubling up because uh, the space is really tight. So I didn't want a bulky connection there because of what I am going to be putting there. So just single loop there and I repeated the same thing on the opposite side. Now in my previous projects I've used some baskets or even cups, you know the mesh cups to put on those sides instead of this napkin holder. This is the first time I'm using the napkin holders but you can certainly replace that with anything you like. 
This is going to be my daughter's makeup organizer. That is why I thought of using those napkin holders and I'll show you what I'll do with them next. So I have this American Crafts permanent marker in gold and my original plan was to kind of camouflage the zip ties by rubbing the gold ink. Since I don't have a gold paint on hand, I don't even have a can of spray paint to apply that is in gold or in silver. I am just trying to use this. However, it wasn't doing it and it was very thin and almost drying up. I guess I've had this in my stash for quite a while now. So another way to camouflage it is using ribbons. So I just used some silver glittered ribbon that I have on hand that I also got a Dollar Tree. So here I am adding the silver ribbons. So I'm just trying to camouflage the unsightly bulky zip ties. I'm doing this on the connections on the top and the middle part of the paper towel holders leaving the one at the bottom without a cover. The reason being is I ran out of this silver ribbons but I'm gonna go ahead and buy some more to cover the bottom part. So here are my daughter's makeup collection and she doesn't have a lot so that's why she only needs something compact or small. So one side I have her eyeshadow palettes and then the other side she has additional palettes there. So the huge palettes can easily be slid into or placed on those napkin holders. And then I use this Daiso cup and I placed her makeup brushes there and then I placed some more of her palettes next to it. On the top I used the Dollar Tree acrylic organizer I think beats that that's only a dollar imagine that to hold her lip tints or lipsticks and some sprays and then more space left over for some of her blush and makeup and then two of her nail polishes so again she only has a small collection so if you don't have a big collection you can also implement this type of organization on your vanity or you can even use this as an organizer under your sink. And for crafters like me, I often show how you can use this type of organizer. So you see me putting one of my glue guns there on one of the napkin holders and then my roller on the left side. And then I put my chalk paints at the bottom with my Mod Podge and then some of my artist paint on the top with the brushes. So for my next DIY, I will be using this one rectangular wire basket. I also got this online at Dollar Tree and then two more of that identical gold wire baskets that I used on the first project. So this is super easy and simple. That's why I'm doing this in fast motion. This time I'm using my black zip ties because I figured black and gold really look so nice <laughs> and kind of have the industrial feel in it. So I'm just tying it at the center. I didn't want to put it at the side because if I put items inside, those ties will not show up. And that's the reason why I did that. So I'm just placing these two baskets inside to create a two-tier shelf that you can hang on the wall. But to be honest, once you're done with this, you can also kind of lean it on a counter, lean it on something, whether you lean it or not, actually, it can still stand on, this, on its own, but for safety reason, it's probably better if you lean it up against the wall. But yeah, so after I tied up three zip ties on the top, basket and then two at the bottom basket reason why I only use two on the bottom basket because there is a ledge there from the rectangular bigger basket that holds it and voila 
that's it see I told you it can stand on its own or you can also hang it on the wall so here is it hanging on the wall of her bathroom this is one of the ways you can use this organizer so I used it for holding our face towels and hand towels you can actually spray paint this any color you like if gold is not your color but I don't mind using gold myself and to demonstrate to you that it can be used without any support on the back because the way it is angled I am using it here on our kitchen countertop and if only the back is finished well it probably is a little unsightly with all the zip ties sticking out but you can actually probably put twines tie some rope or maybe additional ribbons or maybe burlap to camouflage that uh, use whatever you want or spray paint it gold as well just to match or you can actually spray paint the whole thing with a different color to match your decor but as you could see it can hold all these lemons that I picked up from my mother-in-law's tree and then some potatoes you can actually use this for not only lemons and potatoes but also onions maybe tomatoes also garlics and here it is hanging on the door to our pantry our pantry door and I am just using this clear command hook to hang it on the door which will also work on the wall you can also use picture hooks or galvanized nails to hang it so another way to use this is for your coffee or hot drink station this can hold your k-cups your tea bags also your, your hot chocolate sachets you can definitely use this and I also imagine this on a command center or even home office to hold maybe incoming and outgoing mails the possibilities are endless and again you can spray paint this to match your home decor so I hope you enjoyed this video everyone if you did please give it a thumbs up please share to anyone who may be in need of an organization solution or storage solution and also if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell icon so that you will get notified every time I upload a new video leave me some comments down below I'd like to know which of the two DIYs I shared with you today is your favorite I think mine is the second one because I've never done something like this before the first one I have something similar before but this last or second one I really really love it and especially it is something that you can do in less than five minutes so I hope you all are having a great day and I'll talk to you again on my next video take care everyone and God bless bye bye